in the Progressive Era, which is roughly the first couple decades of the 20th century. It's an era of reform. And one of the things that they were pushing was to make the electoral process more democratic. They supported the idea of what's called the Australian ballot, the secret ballot. It made it harder to bribe people because you didn't know how they were going to vote. You couldn't control them anymore. And it eliminated illiterates from voting because you started to restrict who could go into the polls with them. Before the Australian ballot, parties distributed votes or candidates distributed votes to voters and you went to somebody who was at the polls who was from your candidate's group and they gave you the ballot and you put it in. But once the Australian ballot comes in, which is in effect a state-issued ballot, then the question arises as, well, whose name is going to be on the ballot? And that becomes a decision that in effect is determined by rules adopted by state legislatures and city councils. And in effect, what happened was that they made it much more difficult for third parties to get on the ballot. Teddy Roosevelt was the great progressive president. And Teddy Roosevelt and the progressives understood that the answer to inequality was democracy. They pushed the idea of the initiative, the recall and the referendum, which about 18 states adopted at that time, which would allow for direct participatory democracy. You get increasingly the use of primaries as a nominating device, and you get the electoral college elected by the voters rather than appointed by the state legislatures. So we were expanding the range of not only how we voted, but who we could vote for. And that included the 17th Amendment, which allowed for the direct elections of senators. Under the original Constitution, senators were appointed by state legislatures. And the progressives believed that these state legislatures were in the pocket of business interests. And so they appointed people to these Senate seats who sort of owed their allegiance to the business community and were not concerned about the people in the state. The 17th Amendment was a reflection of that. This is why they advocated for the popular election of senators. 